in an emergency, seconds matter, and that's why researchers at the Virginia Tech Transportation Institute are driving change on the roadways. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett working for you tonight to show how their research on police lights could save both officers' lives and yours. When you see those flashing blue lights, you know what to do. Move over or slow down. But Virginia has seen its fair share of fatalities and close calls on the roads. Incidents of state troopers getting killed or injured during traffic stops have made headlines over the years, including this close call on Interstate 581 in Roanoke back in July of 2018. That's why researchers at the Virginia Tech Transportation Institute want to make sure you see those police lights sooner. VTTI received a $1.2 million grant from the National Institute of Justice to study how changing police lights affects drivers' reactions. It's an opportunity for us to actualize knowledge into saving lives, and there's nothing, nothing more rewarding. The study began back in 2014. They tested different colored lights at different times of day in various weather conditions, both in urban and rural settings. With the help of state police, cameras, and radars, ultimately, researchers found that adding red lights caused drivers to change lanes sooner and put more distance between themselves and the stop police car. Researchers say these new lights will give drivers an extra two to three seconds to react to avoid a collision. Every traffic stop is dangerous. I mean, we're six to seven inches away from traffic going by us at a minimum of probably 55 miles an hour. Senior trooper Brett Southerns experienced the dangers of a traffic stop firsthand. Intoxicated driver was coming down 581 southbound. Um, apparently just saw the blue lights and drove straight into the back end of two of our cars that were parked there. Now, as state police roll out a new fleet of vehicles, every new car will be equipped with updated lights, both blue and red. This is the future for the state police. In Blacksburg, Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.